Have you ever wondered how to get the right viscosities at room temperature and the right gelation at higher temperatures using methylcellulose or HPMC? Hi, my name is Valentin, I'm from Shinetsu, and today I will explain to you what makes Tyler Pure such a special product. Tyler Pure is thicken at room temperatures and it gels at higher temperatures. The thermal gelation is a very unique property of Tyler Pure. It creates a perfect bite in your plant-based products. Today, I will explain to you how the thermal gelation occurs and how we can measure it. The first step in doing so is to make a pure solution. Well, let's get started. For a 2% aqua solution, we will use 196 grams of water and 4 grams of Tyler Pure. We boil about two thirds of the water and place it in a beaker. Under constant stirring, we slowly add Tyler Pure. At these high temperatures, a suspension is created as Tyler Pure is not soluble in hot water. The remaining water is added and the solution is cooled down to 5 degrees Celsius. Tyler Pure is fully hydrated and functional once the solution becomes transparent. A pure solution of Tyler Pure is therefore made by adding the powder to hot water. A direct addition of pure powder to cold water should be prevented as this leads to lumps. An effective tool to analyze thermal gelation is the rheometer with a cup and a bob system. We fill up the cup with about 30 milliliters of our aqua solution and place it in the rheometer. Once we start the heating and cooling, we will be able to create a gelation graph. Let's take a closer look at the thermal gelation behavior of the Tyler Pure MCE 4000. Starting at around 5 degrees Celsius, we still have a liquid solution and therefore the measured gel strength is low. This is still the case until we heat up to 55 degrees Celsius. We can now see a sudden increase in the viscosity. The solution starts to gel and the gel strength is more than 100 times higher than at room temperature. At around 70 degrees Celsius, a gel with a very high viscosity is formed. It has a similar texture as cooked egg whites. Cooling down again, we can see an effect called hysteresis. Tyler Pure stays in the state of a gel, providing a great bite for your plant-based products. Only at around 30 degrees Celsius, it goes back into a liquid solution again. Not only the Tyler Pure MC4000 is used in plant-based food, but also the Tyler Pure MC1RTS. As you can see here, the MC1RTS creates a slightly stronger gel, making it very useful when a very strong bite is needed in your plant-based products. What happens when you do not use any MC? Well, you tend to have a very loose texture. Also, the cold viscosity of the Tyler Pure MC 1RTS is higher. As you can see in our aqua solutions, the 1RTS creates a much thicker liquid at room temperatures. This is also the case for this raw bean burger mixture. Both properties can also be seen in the thermogelation graph. The graph starts at higher values at cold temperatures as the viscosity is higher. In addition, the gel strength at hot temperatures is higher. As you can see in the graph, the thermogelation starts and disappears at an earlier temperature. This is also connected to the different hydration temperatures of both grades. Tyler Pure MC1 RTS needs to be cooled below 5 degrees Celsius during preparation for optimal functionality, whereas a plant-based product containing Tyler Pure MC4000 can be prepared at room temperature. Both grades are great for any plant-based formulation that is meant to be consumed hot. Well, that is all for now about viscosities and thermogelation. I hope you could follow all of the explanations throughout the video and have now a better understanding of how Tyler Pure works. If there's still some questions remaining, please do not hesitate to contact us through our website.